Hey, everybody, Brian, the Wild Armenian Rat Ride Carport Builder, whatever you want to call me. Just don't call me late for lunch and don't feed me. Man, my Lord, I just had a, some yummy, yummy pizza from last night. I heated that, those two pieces up in the microwave. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, anyway, I'm not here to talk about pizza, even though it was good. I got this old engine out of this. I, I promise you that I do. And... Um, I got right here, I got the flathead. Remember, I pulled the 302 out. And we're going to use these original brackets that were made, riveted, into the chassis when they built this from Ford Motor Company. And this is the flathead 8 water pump. And this is the mounting. The water pump it also has a mounting bracket. For the motor mount, believe it or not, on the engine. And this bolts on to the water, you know, the block. And she sits here. And that is your <coughs> engine support. There's a right and left water pump. Now this, so the Flathead 8 had two water pumps. And uh, and like I said earlier, this is the, this is the, uh, they cobbed in on both sides. And, uh, okay, so it wasn't Bruce Customs or Chip Bruce or whatever you call that show, you know, but you know what? It worked. Hey, um, it worked. And uh, there was no breakage or the frame wasn't compromised. They did cut uh, the cross member out for the where the trans original transmission went, and they kind of put a big piece of iron, straight iron across quarter inch thick it looks like and they braced it they had this strap set up right here that went around the c4 transmission and they built a little cushion on there to keep it cushion i mean you know they weren't pumping 300 horsepower or 800 horsepower uh it was a cruiser you know and uh, interesting the last time i said you know the engine was a 72 i know that or is a 72 that was you still got the motor but I, what I did discover on the license tag, 1983. <clears throat> so this was a street rod, resto rod, uh, back in the, I'm going to say 70s, because it looked like it had a couple of stickers on top of that, you know. So I'm going to say it ran for a few years. So I'm going to say they did this back in the 70s, and that's what they did in the 70s. Um, I was a teenager back then. <sighs> there are some parts on the body that have Bondo. They sculptured it, and they used to do a lot of that. Instead of banging that out, I would cut it out, or if I could get behind there. Uh, but I'll fix that, no problem. They use the old technique. I, well, as a teenager, I thought that was something. You know, I've seen guys do it. They, there was some uh, screen in there they used. I can't find it now, but it... Uh, but, you know, that was full of sand, Bondo, and all that good stuff. And so, you know, it worked for them. You know, I mean, what the heck? It wasn't a trailer queen. Uh, who knows what they did? Uh, maybe they went to car shows. It was painted. I, it was kind of odd. I found a little Harley sticker. So it, it was painted. The one color is blue, but it's got the old Harley emblem. And it looks like Harley orange. Now... You, you folks tell me if I'm right or wrong. Maybe that is a Harley color. Um, make a comment, please. Let me know. Uh, I'm trying to figure that out like the rest of y'all, you know, if you can help me. Uh, I'm going to say um, the first builder of this truck had it like, maybe it was a biker, you know, guy had a Harley, you know, I don't know. But it had a Harley sticker and it had that burnt orange. Then down the road, they painted it blue. And the blue is kind of faded out. Kind of inter interesting. Very interesting. Um, but I'm going to show you the 302. Just bear with me. I'm walking over there. I got it. I got it over here. Got my engine thing. But I pulled this out by myself. It took me about 30 minutes. Ooh, it was hot today. Hot, hot, hot. Still is hot. And I got it transmission and all. Thank God for saw saws. I just cut my way. <laughs> cut that muffler off of there and took her out as a unit. That's a pretty good, pretty good size motor. It's heavy for a little 302 C4 transmission. Now here's the flathead eight I'm putting into her, and uh, 
This is a Mercury 52 model. That's what I was sold. And um, here you go. Here's the water mount, water pump, and this is for cars. And the water mount, water pump mount was different, or the engine mount, whatever you want to call it. But it was right here, and it bolted. There's two screws, right, holes right here, where a bolt bolted, and the motor mount was like, hey, like this. It didn't have that ear that came out, a bracket, like on the truck. So the cars were a lot different on the water pump. The, the, the truck water pumps will work. I just have to take those ones off, put this on, and, uh, and then I'll be good to go. I can use this motor, no problem. No problem at all. And I was told it was, it's been soaked in marble mist oil for many years, and uh, it was sitting in a guy's shop. There's a story about this engine. I don't want to get into it right now. I have a buddy of mine. We're going to try to do a YouTube commercial. I mean, commercial, sorry. A YouTube uh, uh, show about this engine, the history behind it. And it's kind of scary history about it. Um, it it's kind of freak. It freaked him out. Really freaked him out when we were picking this engine out, engine up. But I don't want to get into telling you the story behind this engine. It, it's spooky. And uh, I might have a pre, my, uh, my pastor at the church come over here and bless this thing. I'm, I'm serious. It's that pretty weird story about it. And I don't want no bad muju. I want, you know, the Lord to blanket this whole job, this whole build, make sure we don't have any problems. But it was a freaky story. Uh, anyway, let me get on. I don't want to go off track here. Now, another thing, too. Now, what I'm waiting, you're going to have to bear with me. You know, I got that 302. And I guess I can come back over here and show you. I'm going to start cleaning up these old brackets and cut that off. And I'll fix that. And, uh, I mean, fix this right here, you know, so that water pump will fit on her. Fit right there. And we'll be good. And uh, I'll start getting that. But please, hey, uh, somewhere on there, somewhere there, 